In this video, we're going to talk about the max width property that you can use in CSS. Now, the max width property is usually used for smaller sections, such as pop-up windows, tool tips, that you don't want to expand out to the entire size of the web page. You want to set a max width so that it can't expand out any farther than that. And the example we're going to use is in a tool tip. Now, we're going to go ahead and use jQuery for this tooltip. Now, we're not going to talk about how to set up the tooltip in jQuery. If you want to learn about that, you can go ahead and take that video in my jQuery series. But for this video, we're just going to talk about the max width property in CSS. So again, we're going to go ahead and work against the tooltip. Now, if we go over to the CSS code, you can see here that we have a max width of 300 pixels. So when we load the page, this is basically saying the tooltip can be no wider than 300 pixels. And so let's go ahead and load up the page and we'll take a look and see what happens. And if I hover over Julius Caesar, we should get a tooltip. We did. And that looks to be about 150 pixels. I think jQuery inside the jQuery function, it's actually setting this width automatically. But within our CSS selector, we're saying it can be no wider than 300 pixels. Now let's go back to our CSS code. And what we're going to do to test this out to make sure it's working is we're going to go ahead and use the width property. Now normally you wouldn't do that with the max width property because you're allowing it to be a number smaller than 300 pixels but it can't go any wider than 300 pixels. So usually you don't set a width because if you do that you're setting an absolute width for it. But to test it out let's go ahead and do that and let's go ahead and we'll set this to 250 pixels. And let's go ahead and save this and we'll go ahead and reload our page. And there you can see the tooltip is much larger. It expanded out to 250 pixels because again, we're below 300 pixels. Now let's go ahead and try to make this 600 pixels and let's see what happens here. So let's go ahead and save this and we'll reload our page. And there you can see it's only 300 pixels now. So that max width property prevented us from going any farther than 300 pixels. Now, of course, if you wanted this to be 600 pixels, we would have to increase the size of this number. We'd probably have to make this 700 pixels or something like that. So that is how the max width property works.